What's up everyone and welcome to Wayfarers East with another HTML tutorial. In our last video we were just checking out the basics of how to start coding in HTML. And for this video we're going to incorporate lists and links in our HTML document. So as you can see we have our document that we had last time, our meta char set, our title, our headers, and our paragraph. And in between our header and our paragraph we are going to start doing some lists and in those lists we are going to incorporate some links. So there are two types of lists in HTML. There are unordered lists and there are ordered lists. So first as you can tell between unordered and ordered, unordered would be bullets or like the little squares or stars and ordered would be like numbers. So one, two, three, four, Roman numerals, A, B, C, D, whatever you end up declaring it to have and so we're going to do an unordered list first and what you do is you start it with the ul tag unordered list and then inside that tag you add the list items so you do li and then you can type in what you want to have in the list so for example if i do li hello world and then another li to end the tag and then you put ul like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to save it and look at our page. So we go to Wayfarers East here and our files. I have way too many different things that I have to sift through. As you can see it says hello world as a bullet. If we wanted to add more to that all we would have to do is do more LIs. So LI this is a second line of list li li i am a monkey and then we're going to check a look at what that is so we take a look there it says hello world this is second line of list and i am a monkey now if you notice they're all flush with how they're lined up but in my code i accidentally put a space in between the i and the li just so you know it does disregard any leading or ending spaces in your line so I could do this and it would still line it up correctly just as you see here now they don't they're not like Microsoft Word and they don't automatically capitalize things for you so you have to make sure that if you want your eyes to be capitalized and you want there to be periods you have to put them in yourself and make everything pretty by yourself now the second type of list as I said it was an ordered list so that tag is ol but the list items are still the same so if I want to do hello world again and then an n tag and then an li this is an ordered list uh, n tag li and then li, this is list item number three. And then a close. And then what you do is you just close it out like you do with everything else. And then if we save it and take a look at it, you can see there's one, two, and three instead of bullets. And so that makes for things like outlines or steps in a process or whatever, however you want to incorporate that. So if we go back, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to incorporate a link. So in our paragraph, if we want to put a link, we want to say, hello world, exclamation point. We can't do an, yes, I believe we can't do an exclamation. Oh yeah, I bet we can. Hello world, exclamation point. Click here to view my other web page. If we would just save that and look at it, we could click here all we want, but nothing's going to happen. So what we have to do is we have to incorporate a link into this. So what we're going to do, links are known as the A tag. And so what you do is you do A and then href or hyper or link ref or whatever it is. It's href equals and then you put your website or thing that you want to link through to. So if we want to link to a different website, you have to make it an absolute link. And what you do with that is you do uh, equals 
set our quotes and then you do HTTP colon slash slash and then whatever your website wants to be. So we want to do wayfarerseast.com and then we end it with another quotes and then end the bracket. And then what we would do is we after the word here, we would close off our A tag like that. So it would look something like this right here. And then you just save it and come over to test. And now, hello world, click here and it'll take you to wayfarerseast.com. What a wonderful website. Like that. Now, if you want to incorporate a different page within your website, for example, say I wanted to, if I was in my web page, I'll go to my FileZilla here. If I was on my index.html and I wanted to go to my powers page, all I would have to do is instead of going HTTP colon slash slash whatever, I would just have to type in dash or slash and then powers.html. Now one thing to note is that if you capitalize your P in powers like I did, you have to capitalize it in your HTML document as well. It has to match it exactly. It is very case sensitive. And then you also have to put the extension on the end, so .html like that. Now if we save it and try and go to it, it's not going to work because I believe, yeah, we don't have it saved inside our FileZilla our, or this test document. But I promise it would work if you did it that way. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go back to our HTTP colon slash slash www.wayfarerseast.com and then we're going to incorporate ourselves a link inside our list. So if we wanted to put a link in the second item of the list, we would still have to do an li like this, but then what we could do is we can do an a tag, and then href equals, and then we could go http colon slash slash www.heroclicks.wayfarerseast.com, like that, and then you'd close the tag, and then end the tag like that. Oh, sorry. And then we'd go click here to go to hero clicks. And then it would take us to that. And then we just close off the link tab. And then what we do is when we save, we can go click here to go to hero clicks. And it'll take me to my hero clicks web page. So it's something really simple and easy to incorporate and do within a list or a link. Now remember there are absolute links which take you to web pages and there are also relative links to take you to different pages within the web page. Hey real quick here guys one thing I forgot to mention is how to open links and new tabs uh, so I'm going to quick show you that here and then I'll interject back into the video. When you're done making a new link or whatever so we're going to use an absolute link here after the quotes all you do is type in quotes you go target equals and then underscore blank like that and that will put the link inside a new tab so if we save here and go to our test we just click and then we go to click here to new hero clicks it'll open it in a new tab so you don't have to worry about losing where you were in your space and everything will turn out just peachy for you. Thanks for watching. That's basically all there is to it for right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to Wayfarers East and wayfarerseast.com. Without further ado, have yourself a great day.